Okay. This is the last video I'll do for completing the square. I just wanted to do a video going through just doing the steps quickly without going through an explanation at all. Okay? I know I said that I would do that for the last one, but then I ended up putting in a little bit of an explanation for that one. Okay? So for this video, steps, no explanation. Okay. So what we're doing, um, we're completing the square. What that means is a method for going from standard form to vertex form. Okay? So how we do that is we make the quadratic that is in standard form, we make it be a perfect square trinomial, and that way it um, gets, when we factor it, it factors into a binomial squared, which is what we see in vertex form. Okay, So we make this be a perfect square trinomial so that when we factor it, it turns into a binomial squared, um, which is what uh, vertex form is. Okay, So these are the rules we know. Okay. We know that the last term of a perfect square trinomial is half of the middle term squared because the middle term has been doubled. So if we half it and then square it, we get the last term. And also we know the factored form. The factored form is a plus b squared. Okay. So um, the factored form is x plus b over 2 squared. a is always going to be x. Okay. So we're always going to start off with an x squared okay. plus um, bx plus c. Okay. So the first term is always going to be, the a value is always going to be an x. And um, our b value, because it's been doubled, to get it we have to divide it by 2. So to factor a perfect square trinomial, all we need to do is do x plus whatever our b value is over 2. Okay, and then square. Good. So let's go through the steps. Okay, so if I give you this, y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x plus 11. Okay. This is um, a quadratic in standard form. We want it to be in vertex form. We want to move this into y equals a x minus h squared plus k. To do that, we have to make this a perfect square trinomial somehow. Okay? And then when we factor it, we'll get this binomial squared. So how we do that, because this 11 doesn't help us, this 11 isn't a b squared value. It's not a perfect square. Okay? So we need to get a different term in there that is a perfect square, okay? A perfect square that is half of the middle term squared, okay? So we need to get rid of this 11 somehow. So in order to do that, we're going to do step number one, which is um, put brackets around the first two terms. So if we group the first two terms, okay, group those together, and then put this 11 to the outside, okay? This kind of separates the 11 from what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make this into a perfect square trinomial, and the 11 doesn't help us. Okay. So what we need to do next is factor out the common number. Okay. Step 2 now. Factor out the number in front of the x squared. So we need to factor out the negative 2. Okay. We're factoring out the negative 2 because we need our first term to be an x squared. We need our first term to be something squared. Okay. Negative 2 is not a, a perfect square number. You can't take the square root of negative 2. So we need to get rid of that. So always, for completing the square, factor out whatever you see in front of the x squared. So I take out the negative 2. So when I take it or negative 2, I have to divide both of these by negative 2. Negative 2x squared divided by negative 2 is x squared. 12x divided by negative 2 is negative 6x. Okay? And then this 11, I don't have to take anything out from the 11 because that's not in the brackets. So that 11 just stays there. Now what I'm going to do, I want to make, um, I want to make this be a perfect square trinomial. So I need to, I want this to look like a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay. So I need to add something in here. I need to add a b squared value in there. Okay. So at first. First, I need to figure out what the b value is. But I know it's been doubled in here, so I have to undouble it. I have to divide it by 2. And I know the last term has to be b squared, so then I then have to square it. That's why my next step is to look at the last term in the brackets, so the negative 6x. Okay? I need to divide it by 2 and then square it. So if I divide that negative 6 by 2 and then square it, okay? Okay, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. Anything squared is positive. So I'm going to add 9. But I can't just add 9 I, and claim my equation is equivalent. If I add 9, 
Okay? I also have to subtract 9 to keep my equation equivalent. Okay? So that was my next step. I add and subtract that term behind the last term in the bracket. So behind the negative 6x, I add the 9 and subtract the 9. And remember, I got that 9 by dividing this middle term, this negative 6 by 2, and then squaring it. Okay? And I know how to do that based on this perfect square trinomial rule here. Okay? Watch the other videos if you want a bigger explanation on that. Okay. So now, inside the brackets, I have a perfect square trinomial right here. Okay? But this negative 9 is in the way. Okay? So what I need to do, in order to be able to factor this, I need to get rid of this negative 9. Okay? So to get this negative 9 outside of the brackets, okay, I have to multiply it by the negative 2 in front. Okay? So I need to move the negative term outside of the brackets by first multiplying it by the a value. Here's my a value of negative 2. I need to multiply it by the negative 2 okay, to get it outside of the brackets. The rationale behind that, if you wanted to move all of these terms outside the brackets, so if you wanted to get rid of these brackets, you would use distributive property and multiply each term by negative 2 and the brackets would be gone. But we don't want to get every term outside of the brackets. We want a perfect square trinomial inside the brackets. And this, in fact, is a perfect square trinomial. So we just want to get that negative 9 outside. So we have to multiply that negative 9 by the negative 2. And then it'll be outside the brackets. Okay, so these are all staying in because that's my perfect square trinomial. And then I multiplied negative 9 by negative 2. That gave me positive 18. So that moved it outside of the brackets. Okay, and I still have that plus 11 out there. I'll go back to blue here. Here we go. Now, I can simplify what I have outside the brackets at the end. I know what 18 plus 11 is. At least I hope I do. There we go, 29. Okay. Now, what I have in the middle here is a perfect square trinomial. I have an a squared at the beginning, a b squared at the end, and then I have minus 2 times a times b. Okay, my a, my a squared is x squared, so my a is x. My b squared is 9, so my b is 3, okay? I have a 3 squared here. In the middle, I have 2 times 3 times x, 2 times a times b, which is 6x, okay? So I have a perfect square trinomial. I know my factored form of that, okay, based on my rules, is x plus b over 2. I know my b value is half of what I see there because I know it has been doubled, okay? So x plus b over 2 squared. I know that is my um, going to give me my, my factored form. Okay. If you want to see um, reasoning behind that rule, watch some of the previous videos I posted for this topic. Okay. Um, and I know my b value. Okay. If standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. I know my b value is the middle here. My b value is negative six. Okay. So I need to divide negative 6 by 2 to figure out my factored form there. Oh, plus 29, not just plus 2. So my final answer is just going to be x. Oh, x, that doesn't look like an x. Okay, it's just going to be x minus 3. x plus negative 3, which is x minus 3 squared plus 29. Okay, so there, that is vertex form. That looks just like y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. That looks exactly like that. Okay, so I did these steps here. I simplified the terms outside the brackets. I did 18 plus 11 and got 29. And then I factored the perfect square trinomial. Okay, I factored it. I know my factor um, form of a perfect square trinomial is x plus b over 2 squared. So I did x plus b over 2 squared, which was x plus negative 6 over 2 squared, right here. So that gave me x minus 3 squared plus 29, okay? If you don't like using that rule, x plus b over 2 squared, to factor it, you can go back to the old method of finding two numbers that have a product of 9 and sum of negative 6. Those two numbers are negative 3 and negative 3, okay? So your factors would be x minus 3 times x minus 3, which is x minus 3 squared. So you can do it that way too. And the whole point of doing it this way, getting into vertex form, is so you can pull out your vertex. So the vertex, we remember, is hk. 
Okay, our H value is 3, our K value is 29, so our vertex is 3, 29. Our parabola opens down because the A value is negative, so this is a max. This is a maximum point, okay, because the parabola opens down, it's a maximum point right there, okay. Also, our axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry, Okay, it's x equals h, our h value is 3, so it's x equals 3. So that's it for that there, okay. You'll get faster at these the more you practice. Um, in fact, practice this one right here, okay. I'm just going to get you started, so make sure um, you group the first two terms together before you factor anything out, okay. So group the first two terms together, and then take out the negative just from the terms in the brackets. Okay, so always take out what's in front of the x squared. There's a negative, so take out a negative 1. That gives you x squared plus 6x in the brackets. That plus 4 is outside the brackets. Now go ahead and make what's in here a perfect square trinomial. Okay, by taking half of the middle term there. Taking half of that. And then squaring it. So half of 6 is 3, squared is 9. And then I also have to subtract 9, so I can't just add 9. Okay, got plus 4. Then I'm going to bring that negative amount outside of the brackets by multiplying it by negative 1. I get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Bring that negative 9 out by multiplying it by the negative 1. That gives me a positive 9 plus 4. Okay, simplify. I get y equals negative 1. This is a perfect square trinomial. It's an a squared plus a 2ab plus a b squared. A value is x. B is 3, because 3 squared is 9. So A plus B squared is my perfect squared, is my factored form. Okay, I can get that by doing X plus B over 2. Okay, 6 over 2, which is 3. Squaring that, 9 plus 4 is 13. Okay, so you can do it that fast. That's vertex form. You can pull out your vertex. Vertex, negative 3. 13. Okay. Hope that helps. Um, any questions? Let me know.